Okay, so now, since I have foundations on my face, I want to go into the powders of my face. I'm going to go in with powder first and all the contouring and all that jazz. And you can see how this becomes totally different looking with 10,000 different powders on it. And you can learn what I do and maybe what you can do. Take some tips. Learn something new. We're all watching for the internet. Why not? Alright, I'm going to get into the tutorial and I will see you soon. Goodbye. Okay, so I'm going to start with powder. And I realized I didn't actually show you what I'm using. And it is Studio Fix by MAC. And it's NW10. And I just kind of go underneath my eyes at first. Because I feel like that's where I have like little wrinkles. Because I squint a lot and I smile a lot. So I kind of want to get the powder there first. So it's not like weird. And I don't want to deal with it and look at it anymore with the wrinkles. And I'm trying to get more into the light. Here I am. I start underneath my eye and pull down my cheek to like the hairs of, you know, the little hairs on your skin. They go downwards and not up, so the makeup stays flat and doesn't look weird or muddy. Then I go on my forehead, hot damn, my eyes. I don't know why I'm pressing so hard. I do not recommend. Don't do it. And then down to the jawline. That's what it's called. And then I'm going to get my chin, the place where I need the most coverage. I pat first because I don't like to pull when the foundation is still slightly wet. And I don't want to pull it and like make a mess. So I pat it on first and then I pull it around. And then I go over the light parts, the parts that I concealed. Wow, I'm totally covering what I'm doing. Um, I go over those light parts with the same powder as I do in the dark parts because it looks like natural highlights. And it doesn't really show as much. But I will go over all of that with a different powder that you will see soon. But first I'm powdering my face. This is a long time to powder my face. Most important step, I think, because I have oily skin. I've got to get around the nose so I look seamless. Hot damn. Pulling it down my chin so it goes over the powder, not the powder, the foundation on my neck as well. So it's all blended, all beautiful. Back to the forehead. Hot damn. Up the forehead, down the forehead, that forehead. I'm going to put a wig on anyway. I don't know why I do this to myself. For the sake of tutorials. To help you all. Alright. I should be just about done here. That is the look of hot damn I'm done. Alright, then I'm going to take out the Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kit. Oh, wait. Here I am, finally showing you my powder because I forgot before but I had just told you in the beginning of the video so now we know and I'm making a disgusting face there it is Anastasia Anastasia I don't know Beverly Hills contour kit it says kit contour okay I take this foundation brush that's what people mostly use it as and I go in with the color in the center banana and I go underneath my eyes because it's a yellow color and it brings out the highlights and I go on the little tippy tip of my nose and I just try to want to create the same triangle that I did earlier with the concealer and just go in that same motion and same way as if I'm putting on concealer again but it is just powder it's kind of clever of me alright then I take this brush it's from I think I got it at I don't know it's one of those beauty basics I have no idea but I take the same color and put more product on you can more not more you can see it more now than you could before because I think that brush puts it on better but both double it up get all the powder on there am I right okay then I go in with vanilla and I put it kind of wear the same place more towards the outer edge of my face to blend out some and on the bridge of my nose, my forehead, to blend out the banana so it doesn't look so yellow. And I go underneath my jawbone where I'm going to put my contour because gotta give it all those dimensions, am I right? Am I right? All the dimension. Okay, and then I take this little brush, it came with the other one. I think you get them at like CVS, I'm pretty sure that's where it is. And I take the middle color, which is called Fawn. And I'm going right where my hair, kind of my uh, sideburns are, near the ear, and I go in a, in a 
slanted motion to create a better cheekbone for myself. And I go into the other side and do the same thing. I pull it just right, right out of my hairline. See what I'm doing? Kind of sculpting up into it even. And that creates a better cheekbone, higher cheekbones, so I look more sculpted, less flat. And then I go on my nose, on the sides of my nose, because I want it to look skinnier and less weird looking. And I'm doing in the middle. Wow, loving the faces I'm making. But kind of just buff that in with whatever I have left. And then I gotta buff it out so it doesn't look so like I just put a stripe on my face because that looks dumb. And we don't want to look dumb because we're not. Because we're watching this tutorial for help. Who needs dumb help? No one. Okay, so into my hairline kind of to give my forehead dimension so it doesn't look so flat because we used one color on it except for in the middle. And I just dab that in. It looks not blended. I just hit the camera. And then I take this fluffy angled almost brush and I use Havana and I blend that out. It's more of a bronzy color. It's got a lot of orangey tone in it and I blend it out so it looks more natural and it gets rid of those harsh lines because the brush is so little it puts so much product in one place so we kind of just want to buff it out and have a transition color from dark to light. Here we go on the other cheek. I like how that one always looks. It always looks better than the other one but I usually like the other side of my face. Weird things. Buff all the things out. I go underneath my jawbone just a little bit and blend it down so you get my jawline and my cheek both sculpted and defined and beautiful because why would you not want to be beautiful? So I think here I am looking at myself trying to see if there's anything wrong. I don't think so. Just fixing the little things. You always want to make sure and look at yourself because why would you not look at yourself when you're spending so much time on it. Okay, there's my face. This is me saying, hasta luego. Peace. Okay, so now I look less glossy, more alien. So I did a lot of contouring. Some can say it could be too much. I look kind of manly. I don't give a shit. Here is my face. Here is the contour. Here's the powder. Next, we will learn about everyone's fave lately, the brows. I get a thousand questions on those, so stay tuned for that video. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Just a little bit of what I use, how I do it. You don't have to do it like this. Not a how-to. Just what I do. And if you learned anything from it, I'm glad. And please comment. Tell me if it was great, because that's all I want to hear. I'm just kidding. But who doesn't want to hear praise? And then, you know, like it because who doesn't want to be liked? And then subscribe because you can see more of these. I mean, who doesn't want more? Everyone wants more. That's all they ever ask for. So please do that. And then all my social media is down there. And you can follow me and see more of me if you like it. If you don't, you can still follow me and see more of me. You can talk about it. Who doesn't? Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I will be seeing you soon in the next video where we learn about eyebrows. So thank you. Goodbye. I love you. Peace.